Before you invest hundreds of hours in studying Houdini, it's probably a good idea to know whether or not this is right for you. So in this video, I'd like to go over the pros and cons of Houdini. And before we get started, you should know that nobody paid me in making this video. I'm not taking any handouts or bribes or any of that kind of stuff. This is just my personal opinions on the topic. And yes, even though I own CG Forge and I have a personal stake in selling uh, Houdini courses and teaching Houdini, I don't think it's right for everyone. I think for some people it's a bad fit. There are significant cons to Houdini and you should know about those things before you spend hundreds of hours studying and potentially betting your career on it. So let's take a look at some of those pros and cons now. Number one, Houdini is procedural. That's something you guys have probably heard of before. But why is that a big deal? Well, it's a big deal because in other softwares, yes, you do have nodes and yes, you do have ways of working procedurally, but it's not like every workflow is procedural and it's not like the entire program is procedural. In the case of Houdini, everything you do is a node. It's basically like a little packet of code that stores your actions and the ability to go back to those little packets of code or those nodes makes something procedural. So let me give you a good example here, okay? Let's say that you had to build a lens like this for Nikon. And Nikon wants you to make 50 different versions of this lens. You don't wanna make 50 different versions by hand because that's impossible because maybe the deadline is by the end of the week, right? So you need to come up with some kind of generator for making these different lens designs. And so Houdini allows you to build up these systems these model generators or these simulations or whatever it is to basically generate out 50 models. Another example is maybe you wanna go back and change something with these lenses. So let's say that you get done with the 50 lenses you just made and the client says, you know what? I wanna change the buttons on all 50 lenses. Are you going to go back to all 50 scene files if you did that by hand to change out 50 buttons? Or do you have a system like what you can build with a node network where you can easily go to the area where you made the buttons and then just swap it out? That's one example of literally thousands of examples where in production, if things aren't procedural and a client comes back and they want to change something, it can be a real hassle to go through the manual workflows as opposed to making everything procedural. Next up, Houdini can sometimes lack artistic tangibility. And what does that mean? That word tangibility means the ability to kind of feel something, to actually touch the object and understand its qualities, okay? And if you wanna take the opposite program of Houdini, look at ZBrush. ZBrush is all about how you feel and manipulate the object in the viewport. It's all about trying to use hotkeys and find the right buttons in the viewports. By comparison, you could probably figure out Houdini's interface in about 10 minutes because everything's a node. And on top of that, it's much more about thinking and creating systems than it is about manually manipulating things like you might have with ZBrush or you might not have that same connection to the object in an artistic way as you would with let's say Substance Painter or something along those lines. So for a lot of people, that's going to be a major con. And if you're somebody who's more artistic, that might make it feel less comfortable than what you're used to. No, don't like that. Let's talk about something near and dear to all of our hearts, and that is money. Hello, I like money. Houdini is going to offer you better career opportunities. And that's not just in how much you get paid, it's also in your ability to get a job and your ability to stay flexible if you want to ever transition to something else. Last I checked, I believe Houdini artists make somewhere around $25,000 to $150,000 more than their peers for knowing Houdini and being able to build procedural systems that benefit the whole studio. And as I said before, if you wanna go do something different down the road, 
having Houdini on your resume or having Houdini experience is going to be a major plus and you're more likely to get a gig by just having that as well as, again, making more money. Now let's address the elephant in the room and talk about how difficult it is to actually learn Houdini. Houdini isn't hard to learn, but it'll make you feel really stupid. And I think that's where a lot of people have a hard time because they show up with a little bit of an ego because they've gotten somewhere before with Maya or Cinema 4D or Blender, wherever they've been. And they go to Houdini and it feels like you're starting from ground zero <laughs> because of the fact that Houdini throws you in the deep end. And so it's not really that Houdini is hard to learn. It's just that Houdini makes you feel overwhelmed at first. When you open up that help doc, it's not very helpful sometimes because all it's doing is making you feel stupid. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Plus, things can be rather scattered sometimes between talks and presentations and tutorials. And so for that reason, that can also be a barrier that makes you feel overwhelmed because there's so many different areas that contain the knowledge that you need. Let's knock out a couple more pros here. Side Effects innovates with every single release, so you'll be happy to know that Side Effects Houdini is very much becoming future proof because of the fact that they innovate. And Houdini also offers major advantages in production. We talked about that with the procedural advantages, but in addition to that, you can also automate very tedious tasks when it comes to file management, when it comes to render management, and when it comes to more of the TD side of things or the pipeline side of things. Houdini has things like PDG, Solaris, so you have ways to incorporate USD into your pipeline. You also have ways to use Houdini Engine to, let's say, take what you do in Houdini and transfer it over to Maya, Unreal Engine, or other places. Uh, so, because of all of that, Houdini is going to work nicely in whichever pipeline you find yourself in going into the future. On the other hand, the viewport can sometimes be a bit clunky. However, it's not crashy, it's just sometimes buggy. And then also the current standard for animation and rigging is with Maya. In the future that might change, but as it stands, if you like to animate and rig in Houdini, it's doable, but it's just not the industry standard at the moment. And last but not least, my favorite thing about Houdini is that it allows you to accomplish anything in CG. One of the reasons why I chose Houdini in the first place is because of the fact that I can accomplish anything I want to do in the future. I'm not going to be limited by the software. I'm not going to be limited by the constraints of whatever was pre-built by the developers. Because in other software packages, it's very possible to run into a wall where the only way you can accomplish something is by coding in C++ or Python. And oftentimes that means that you're not going to be able to do whatever that thing is. But what Houdini does is it gives you all kinds of different nodes and tools to piece together whatever custom scenario you're trying to do. And because of that fact, it means that when it comes to the hard, difficult tasks that might be impossible in other softwares, not only is it possible, but it makes those really difficult tasks a lot easier. I am God. So let's finish this up. Who is Houdini for and who is Houdini not for? Houdini is for people who don't mind feeling stupid and as a matter of fact, get excited when they don't understand something because that means they can go figure it out. You have to have a certain degree of humility and a certain curiosity about figuring things out to have a good time as you're growing in Houdini. That needs to be a given. Also, it's for people that want to expand their career opportunities who want to try to expand their technical abilities and automate their workflows in such a way that not only helps entire studios, but also provides you future opportunities and future enhancements, no matter which direction you go in the future. So it's a very future-proofed kind of program to invest in. 
Uh, it's also for people who want the ability to accomplish whatever it is they want to do down the road. So if this is a career you want to have for many years, you'll want to ally yourself with the software that makes the hard things easier. And that absolutely fits the bill with Houdini. Now, who is Houdini bad for? Who is it not for? It's not for people who don't want to work hard because it takes a lot of work, takes a lot of study to get good at Houdini, especially at first. It's not for people who don't like feeling stupid. <laughs> As I said before, if you have an ego or if you really feel insecure by what you don't know, then that's going to make you have a bad time as you study Houdini. And I also don't think that Houdini's right for folks who just want to chill. There's some jobs that require a certain level of proficiency, and then you can just stop there. As an example, if I wanted to just stop at being a texture artist, I could learn Substance Painter and just paint all day, zen out, and chill, and I don't really have to invent the wheel every single day or try to push my boundaries at every given opportunity. So there's nothing wrong with wanting to just chill and lay back a little bit, but it is to say that with Houdini, it is going to push you. It's going to challenge you. It's going to try to push you in the direction of studying things you don't know, figuring out new workflows, and trying to innovate as much as possible. And there you have it. Those are my opinions on the pros and cons of Houdini. Great story. Compelling and rich. If you have anything you'd like to add, let me know. I'm curious to see your guys' perspective on all this. Uh, depending on who you talk to, I think everyone has a different opinion as to the pros and cons of Houdini. And uh, well, in general, I think it's a fantastic software. I think it's the best on the market if you're just talking about career opportunities, the ability to be effective within a pipeline. And uh, I have a lot of fun using Houdini as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.